Hey, what's going on guys and welcome to another episode of Building on WordPress. My name is Josh Donnelly and in today's video, we are going to take a look at how to easily style and modernize your Gravity Forms. Now this can be applied to pretty much any form out there. As you guys know, I like to create little apps with Gravity Forms, but this could be a simple contact form or whatever you might have on your website. Now, out of the box, Gravity Forms just kind of inherit some of the basic styles and it looks pretty wonky. But what if we could take something like this and with just a a little bit of CSS magic and nothing really too complex we could turn it into something a little more modern like this where we're putting the label up into the bar here we're adding a little bit of additional color to help separate the label box from the uh, content that's being typed in itself and it just makes it feel all around more modern so we're gonna do this from scratch together and just kind of see how it looks and then we'll layer in the CSS and see how easy things are and then I'll explain to you what you need to edit in the CSS to customize this for your use cases so without further ado, let's dive in. So here we are on the back end of our demo site, and we are going to simply click add new and create a blank form. Now we'll call this a contact form. We'll just keep things simple. So we'll call it a contact us form and we'll create a blank one. So the next thing we're going to do is just drag out the necessary fields that we need. And I'm fully aware that this CSS that we're going to take a look at today might not cover styling for every single field type out there. And if that's the case, you may have to adapt the CSS to fit your needs. But hopefully this provides a great baseline for what you're setting up. So for our contact form, what are we going to need? Well, let's go ahead and put a first name, last name field out there, maybe a phone number field and an email address field. Now we're going to keep things simple for now, but you could totally add in, you know, let's go ahead and just add one more field here. And we'll just call this, you know, I don't know, um, message or something like that. Right. So just a couple of fields that we want out there. We'll click save form. So as you guys know, I love the Cornerstone Builder, but what we're looking at today can be applied across any builder that you are using as it is simply CSS that is layered on to gravity forms. So let's go ahead and build out our page here. I'm gonna click start from scratch and I want my background to be white. I want there to be a little bit more padding here. So let's call it like 150 top and bottom. And then in this container, I'm just gonna create a column and Cornerstone has a very nice built in form element here. So we're gonna drag that out and this already has a gravity forms integration. So I'm gonna click gravity forms and I'm gonna grab that contact us form that we had created and it pipes it in right here. Now, this isn't ugly, but it isn't necessarily pretty either. This just inherits some of the base default styles. It's really not styled at all. And if we save this and we view this on the front end of the website, you'll see it just looks pretty vanilla, pretty basic. So we want to spruce this up a little bit here. Now, we're not going to do a whole lot, but let's jump back into the form first. And I don't love these little labels below uh, our field here. And some people would disagree with me for accessibility reasons, but we do have our primary label still up top. So what I'm going to do is put in the placeholder field here, first name, and you'll notice that enters it right in here. And then in our last, I'm going to put last name as well. And then I'm just going to go ahead and under sub label placement, I'm going to click hidden and we'll go ahead and save and we'll jump back over here and refresh this page and we should see those disappear and our placeholders show up inside and that's looking pretty good so now we want to begin actually styling this form so let's jump into our custom code here and we're going to add this into the page css but you could also do this at the global css level or if you're not using a builder like cornerstone you could add this into your general wordpress customizer css area as well I'm going to go ahead and shrink this so we can actually see these changes taking effect in real time. And let's go ahead and just create a little uh, comment here to label this. We'll just call this gravity forms custom styles, something like this here. Now let's go ahead and begin styling things out. Now, if you don't want to follow along with all of this, I have included all of this just copy pasteable directly in the uh, link in the description below. So you can go ahead and grab that. But if you want to follow along, there's just a couple of uh, chunks or little sections of CSS that do different things and might be good to know about. First things first, we want to add in our input style. So I typically like these to be just a little bit larger and a little bit cleaner looking. So we're going to go ahead and put those input styles in here. And you will notice if you look through this, it's addressing very specific input types. And then it is stretching the height out a little bit more. So they're larger fields. It's adding a little bolder uh, outline to the outside of the field here. It's adding a little more border radius. And you could change this, right? So you can make this, you know, 40 pixel border radius if you wanted and completely round out those edges or something 
something like that and then it just has a very slight box shadow on it and so that's great but when we click on these fields it's goes back to this like kind of faded gray look and I really want those to look like we are intentionally focusing on that field so the next thing we're gonna do is put in our focus styles and those focus styles are specifically addressing the focus of the field itself so we're gonna go ahead and pop in our focus styles CSS here and you'll notice we're putting a one pixel solid blue border around it with a little bit of box shadow so now when I click on a field like phone you'll notice it gets this little blue outline here and you could change that to whatever you want you could put a hex value in there an RGB value in there you could just type in green and now when we select that it highlights things in green so that's looking pretty good let's go ahead and put that back to blue just so it matches everything else we're doing and let's go ahead and add in the next piece of our CSS here so the next thing we want to do is style our label itself here and just make this look a little bit more modern and so the way we're gonna do that is by shrinking it down making it all uppercase and then actually moving it so that it is in line with our border here so let's go ahead and pop this in and you'll see our form field labels are now this specific color here and a smaller font size and you could address that if you want that to be a larger font size S simply change those M's you could change them to pixels if you want or make it one M and that'll make things larger there our text transform this makes it all uppercase that's a personal preference if you don't like that you can just remove that line or change that the background on it is set to white which kind of matches our container background as well so if you run like a black container or a gray container you might want to match that value just so the effect is there and it looks seamless and then we have a little bit of negative margin a little bit of left margin on there some transition and ease and so now this is looking pretty good but when we select that field the label doesn't change and we want that to change so the next thing we're gonna do is add in our focus CSS for the label itself and so let's go ahead and just add that right down here We'll add in our form field label is in focus and that's going to have blue as well. So now when we come up here and we click on this field, now everything is in focus and is changing color. And again, if you wanted that to be something different, we could type in green and we click and now that's green and the border is blue. So again, you can play around with these styles as you see fit. And now one of the final things I'd like to add in here is a little bit of breathability or spacing between our fields. And so that is what this is here, which basically just adds a 30 pixel gap in between all of our fields here. So if we wanted that to, let's go to the extreme and say 130 pixels, you can see how that affects things. Or you could go down and just say, I want it to be 10 pixels or 20 pixels. I think 30 is a nice sweet spot here, but obviously you guys can play around with that line item as well. And then there's a couple of other things that I'm going to throw in here, but again, that you can copy and paste directly from the link in the description below low that are just some like general styling and cleanup things as well that you can dive into and play around with but in a nutshell this is what we're doing so I'm gonna go ahead and just paste that in here which will finish things off and then we'll take a look at what this looks like on the front end and there we have it let's go ahead and save let's jump over to the front end and as you can see this is where we started which again isn't bad it's functional which is great but we want this to look much more modern and so let's go ahead and refresh with our new CSS on there and when we do that this is the beauty of gravity forms it comes super vanilla out of the box and can be custom customized to your heart's desire with a little bit of CSS. As always, I hope you guys find these videos useful. If you do have any questions, please leave those in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.